We're staying on top of the latest scams, and the newest one to hit your phone could get you in trouble just for saying the word yes. How it works in this 7 News Consumer Watch. Welcome to a new level of scam called deception. It starts innocently enough when you pick up a number you don't recognize, like Amy Owens did this week. And there was a pause, and someone said, oh, you're there. And I said, hello. And she said, oh, wait a second, I've got my headsets messing up. And I paused, and then finally she came back on, and she started speaking very quickly about um, a, a special that they were having or something they wanted to sell me. At some point, the caller asks if you can hear them. And I said yes. Yes, one simple word that can be used against you. Reports to police and the Better Business Bureau across the country show the scam artists record you and may use your affirmative answer as proof that you signed up for a service like home security or a cruise line. We don't advise people to to carry on the conversation with them um, in, the, in the event that they are recording your voice, uh, you know, they may be using uh, your recording for fraudulent charges or, or anything like that. So it's, it's not, the best thing to do is just to hang up. The BBB adds even if you're asked a similar question or to press a button to be placed on the do not call registry, don't do it. Saying anything or pressing that button may help scam artists identify which numbers are active. Keep in mind, it's easy for scammers nowadays to manipulate the phone number. So even if it's the local area code, if you don't recognize it, let it go to voicemail. Owens plans to report the number to the Federal Trade Commission, the best way to help shut down these illegal sales tactics. It's a total invasion of privacy. It's not right at all. No, it's no, it's not. And in another version of the scam, Tom, the caller may already have your credit card number through a, like a prior hack or something and is using the recording to authorize charges. Yeah, we all have to be so careful these days, don't we? So if you think you might have gotten this call, be sure to check your accounts closely. We have a link on how to report this scam on WSBA.com.